It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl today. Two outstanding elementary schools here to play our game and they're going to be demonstrating their science literacy. Test your own science IQ as we play along today. Let's meet today's teams. First from Judge Sylvania Woods, would you please welcome to the program Gabriel Lorente, Kamora Smallwood, and E. Ray S. And from Thomas Stone Elementary, we welcome Ashley Aparicio, Joseph Padilla, and Carla Montero. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. This part's pre green things, questions about plants about and all things all green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl on our game board, we arrange the questions according to difficulty with the easier ones on the left worth 5 and 10 points, tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. Down to the two rounds today, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again, perhaps advance to the semifinal elimination rounds in our competition. This is our 34th year. We have 40 elementary schools and 16 middle involved in our competition. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. Kamora, would you try the red team's buzzer? All right, looks and sounds A-OK. -okay. Good luck to you, to E-Ray and to Gabriel. And how about yours over there, Joseph? Try the green teams. All right, it too seems to work just fine. Good luck to you, to Carla and to Ashley. I just have to say, Congratulations, guys. You would not be here if you weren't elite students. You're ambassadors for your school. So just by being here, you've won. Let's have a good game. We go alphabetically J before T, so Judge Woods and Kamara, let's play the bowl. Go. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if you say something you wish you hadn't, people say that you put this body part in your mouth. Kamara. What you got? You rang in, what was your idea? You put your thumb in your mouth. Not your thumb in your mouth, good try. If you say something you wish you hadn't, the saying is you put this body part in your mouth. Joseph, the, you put your foot in your mouth. If you put your foot in your mouth, it means you've said something that you shouldn't have. Try again, red. Go ahead. Green things for five. Zoo parade for five? Green things green for things five. Green things for five points. Teams, this green place, watch me and listen to me. This green place would have been heaven on earth if that snake hadn't tempted Adam and Eve. Judge Woods, what green place am I talking about? The Garden, Garden of, Eden. of Eden. Garden of Eden. Mm. That's where Adam and Eve, the first people, were. All right. When you ring in, make sure you have something to say. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the other team. In that case, I should have gone to Thomas Stone. They did not have an answer either, but we will go back and forth until we find someone who has something to offer. Go red. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, these portions of the universe filled with stars and planets, sometimes they look like spirals, sometimes they look like ovals, and our Milky Way one looks like a potato chip. We live in the Milky Way what? Judge Woods. Galaxy. galaxy. Exactly right. Good. Okay, go red. Mm. Go ahead. Dateline science for five. Dateline science for five points. Teams, what famous scientist who died recently said, there is, all I can say is, even though I cannot move, 
And I have to, yes, Steve, Judge Wood. Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, that's right. You knew that, E. Ray. Even though he could not move, he talked through a computer and he said, I am still free. A wonderful man. Nice answer. Go red. Zoot Parade for five. Zoot Parade for five points. All right, teams. You could call one of these animals an utter disaster and a milk dud if it couldn't and can't give milk. Kimura. Cow. A cow, that's right. An utter disaster and a milk dud. I don't know that that cow would appreciate being called a milk dud. All right, go red. Science, science popori for five. Science popori for five points. All right, teams. This same word means an electrical conductor to pick up signals and one of these feelers on an insect's head. Antenna. antenna. A, an antenna. An antenna on an insect's head and an antenna also to pick up signals. It used to be the television sets had antenna. They called them rabbit ears. Sometimes people put tin foil, aluminum foil on them to pick up receptors. That's a long time ago. Go red. You have 70 points. Thomas Stone is at 50. Kamara, your choose. Mm -hmm. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, the central wood inside of a tree like the center of an artichoke and the center of a palm, go by this cardiac name. Cardiac. You have to know what cardiac means. If you've ever heard of cardiology, cardiac is what part of the body is that? Judge Woods. The heart. The heart. That's right. It's the heartwood and hearts of palm, hearts of artichokes. That's what we're going for there. Okay, go red. Zoo mm, parade for 10. Do pray for 10 points. Teams, uh, Apple has a new mobile operating system, iOS 13, that has animated emojis, animojis, including one of these eight-legged cephalopods that does this when you send an email message. Eight-legged cephalopod. Come on, Carla, you're in a marine biologist. An eight-legged cephalopod. Judge Woods. Octopus. Octopus, that's exactly right. So the little octopus doesn't just sit there, it moves. It's an animated emoji. Go red. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, some of you like to bake. If you bake bread, bread rises because the yeast you put into the dough gives off what gas that makes the bread go up? What gas? Judge Woods. Pass it to Gabriel. Gabriel. Oxygen. Not oxygen. Good try. Thomas Stone, give me the gas that causes that bread to rise. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. The same gas that we breathe out, that we exhale. Yes, indeed. All right. The buzzer says we've come to the end of the first round. Thomas Stone is at 50 and Judge Woods is at 90. And we'll be back with round two in just one moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Well, Thank you for spending part of your day with us here. And before we ask any more science questions, a few personal ones. Let's find out about the six young people playing our game today. Let's go first to Judge Sylvania Woods. And none of you have played our game before. Had a good start today. You're working together as a team. Kamora, tell us about Judge Sylvania Woods. Who's your principal? Our principal is... Uh Miss Barbara. That's she right. Miss Barbara like is here. Miss nice Stephanie person. Barber. And she'll be out in a few moments here. I know she's with us today. She's in another room. She's cheering you on. I know how proud she is of all three of you. And don't worry if you forget things. Sometimes when the lights are in your eyes, I can even forget my own name. So don't worry about that. You're doing a fine job. Tell me, uh, did you have any alternates on your team? Yes. Can you give me their first names? Ryan. Ryan. Is he the only one? Yes, he's the only one. Unfortunately, he couldn't become because of transportation issues. I'm sorry about that, but, I, uh, but he was an important part of your team, so thank you for acknowledging him. Uh, tell me uh, something special about Judge Sylvania Woods that you think everybody should know. What are you proudest of at your school? I'm proud that they are not acknowledge people who are above others and help them and help them get even higher and help the people to catch up with them. That's a wonderful sentiment because that's it. If, if it's everybody is up here who knows it and there are a lot of people who don't, that doesn't make for a good school. You want everybody to be part of that and uh, it's kind of a group activity. Nicely said. What do you want to do someday, Kamora, with your life? 
I want to become a geologist. A geologist. You also want to be a salesperson, right? Right. Yeah, why a salesperson? So, I, so either way, I can still make some money. You can still make it. Listen, that's very practical. That's right. You've got to make a living in this world. And if you can find something to do that you love and that your surprise people pay you to do it, you're going to have a great time. Nice to have you here today. Ire, tell me about yourself. You know a lot about science. How do you know that? How do you know so much about science? I know, I know a lot about science from my science teacher, Mr. Douglas Ledoux. Very nice. Yes, he's a wonderful coach, too. I know he's part of this competition here. Uh, what do you want to do someday? I want, to be, I want to be a computer engineer. Yeah, and you want to go to Harvard, too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you want to make, uh, that is the oldest university in the country and by many measures the best university. So good luck. Uh, you're a very thoughtful and disciplined young man. You're showing that here today, so keep it up, all right? Thanks. Gabriel, nice to have you here today. Why did you want to be on the show? Because I was like really interested in science and ever since fourth grade I was like really into science. That was the big and You time. put science on your form too. I love science. And uh, what kind of science would you like to do? Physics and chemistry. Physics and chemistry. Very good. Well, we have a category here. Let's get physical. So you got some questions that you can answer when we get to that. Nice to have you here. Joseph, tell us about Thomas Stone. Who's your principal? Mr. Hintz. Absolutely. Out there rooting for you. And Miss Rudd is your sponsor. Yes. yes. And she is out there, and I know she's very proud of you. Uh, Joseph, tell me, are there any alternates on your team? Yes, we have Skylar and we have Karubo. Wonderful. Are they here today? Uh, Skylar couldn't make it. Okay, but we'll bring out uh, whoever is here and give them some face time on set. Uh, I'll ask you, Joseph, what I asked Kimora. What do you like best about Thomas Stone? That we're a green school. You're a green school. What does that mean? Uh, we, we know what it means, but maybe the audience would like to hear you. We recycle and we don't. We we don't. Take your litter. time. Take your time. We we recycle and we don't litter. You don't litter. That's very important because this earth is getting so polluted, especially with plastic. Everything is plastic. It's floating in the oceans now, and we need to come up with a new way of doing things, a new way of packaging, or. We're going to ruin this uh, planet we're living on here. Joseph, what do you hope to do someday? I want to be an artist. An artist, yeah. Uh, painting, sculpting, what kind of artist? I want to, I'll, 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 I'll like to draw people. Draw people, yeah. So you can be a portrait artist. That would be wonderful. Yeah, people love to have that part of their uh, legacy. Uh, and you were here last year, weren't you, Joe? Yes. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome Thank back. You. And, uh, you yeah, know, your first half has been kind of slow, but I know you're going to get them, right? You're going to yes. come out in the second half, we're going to knock them dead. I know you are. And Ashley, you were here last year too, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you want to do someday? I want to be the one who asks the questions in Science Bowl. <laughs> you want my job, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Joseph has this eye on my job too. I better watch. Someone's going to come at me. I'm going to watch my back. I've got to watch my back. You guys are aiming for this job. I'm sure you would do a fine job. You would do a fine job here. And as I told you earlier, I'm not getting any younger. We're going to need somebody new at some point here. Carla, nice to have you here today. Now, you were an alternate before, weren't you? Yeah. So what's it like being here on the real, on the real deal? It's like kind of nerve-wracking that you actually get the opportunity to be on. I know. Show. And here you are. If you're here for the first time, here's this man talking fast. And so it's like, what is going on? It takes a while to figure it out. Uh, by the time you get comfortable, it's over. But you're doing a great job here. And uh, yeah, just work together in the second half. And you like to cook, don't you? Do you like to cook? What do you make? I make a lot of Mexican food. You do. Did you bring any today for us? Yes. Could have given you extra 50 points if you had a couple tacos for me here. <laughs> I'm just pulling with you. All right, keep smiling. Let's have a good time, all right? Let's have a good time. Let's get to the second half here. Our last correct answer came from the red team. So, Kamora, let's go. And green team, stay with me, all right? Okay, come on, Kamora. Dateline Science Pretend. Netline Science for 10 points. Uh, teams, it has been said that there is no greater strangeness in nature than a bird that cannot fly. The person who said that was this man who discovered a lot about evolution and sailed to the Galapagos Islands. His name was Charles what? Someone's got to ring in. Charles Someone's got to ring in. Judge Woods? Charles Darwin. Charles, say it again. Darwin. Darwin. Darwin, that's correct, yeah. E. Ray says, come on now, pronounce that right. He knows it is Charles Darwin. Yeah, remember he studied those finches, those birds, and all the different islands. They all had different kinds of beaks to feed on whatever kind of food was on that island. Okay, go, Red. Mm. Go Body ahead. systems for 10. 
body systems for 10 points, your answer will be a number. Teams, if you are polydactylous, that means you can tie your shoes with just one hand because you would have how many fingers? Thomas Stone. Five. No. Now that would be a normal hand. If you're polydactylous, you could tie your shoes with just one hand because you would have how many fingers? Three. No, six. Six. Poly means more than, many. So someone who's polydactyl would have an extra finger, which is, that would mean they could tie their shoes with one hand. Mother Teresa, the famous saint, was polydactyl. She had six toes on both of her feet. It is rare, but it, it does occur. Okay, good try. That's, I like that. Go again, Kimora. Science Popori for 10. Science Popori for 10 points. Teams, if something, some chemical is carcinogenic, it means it could cause this terrible disease. Judge Woods. Cancer. Pass it Cancer. Cancer, absolutely right. Carcinogenic, cancer causing. Like tar. Like tar is carcinogenic. That's stuff that they put on roofs um, as a cancer causing agent. All right, try again, Red. Thank you, Iray. Good answer. Uh, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. All right, teams. Uh, when a tree takes in carbon dioxide in photosynthesis, and photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide to give out oxygen. Well, the carbon in carbon dioxide is used by the tree to make different parts of the tree, some solid parts of the tree. Can you give me two solid parts of the tree that the carbon in carbon dioxide is used to make? Think about a tree. Think about a tree. Come on, Carla, Ashley. Think about parts Mark, of the tree. Um, All right, Judge Woods, I may have to come to you, so talk. Talk to each other. All right, Judge Woods, three, two parts of the tree that the carbon, some solid parts, are made of. Bark and branches. Trunk and branches, absolutely right. And also the roots would have been good. That's good. Good group think there. Go red. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parades for 15 points. Teams, you've probably seen this in the movies or cartoons. In mythology, there was a, mo a woman by the name of the Gorgon Medusa. If she looked at you, you turned to stone. And instead of hair, she had these writhing serpents. What were they, Judge Woods? Snakes. Snakes. She had snakes for hair. Just think if she had a bad hair day. <laughs> All over the place. All right. Go red. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. All right. Think about this. You have a bridge in your nose. You've got islands in your pancreas. And you've got a hammer inside this sense organ. Judge Woods. Mouth. What you got? Mouth. In your mouth. Ma mouth, did you say? I can't hear what you you got mouth. to enunciate. Mouth. Are you saying mouth? Yes. Mouth, not mouth. Okay, come on, Thomas. Get some points here. Uh, Where? Jaw. In your ear. In your ear. You've got three bones in your ear. The hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. The three tiniest bones in your body. All right. No points. Go red. Let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. Teams, on Europa, which is Jupiter's fourth largest moon, there's a hidden ocean that has what same common condiment that we shake on our food in that ocean. Oh. Judge Woods. Salt. 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 Yeah, there's salt in the ocean. Yep. Come on, guys. You could, that's an easy one. That would have been an easy one. Go, Red. Because all the tough ones are coming up here. Go, Kamara. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline signs for 15 points is a visual question. I want you to look at the monitor in the studio, please, at the picture. This is a Labradoodle. It is a poodle that has been crossed with a Labrador, re Labrador retriever. But since both poodles and labs are both dogs, they're the members of the same species, this dog is called a crossbreed and not one of these H-initial crosses if you have different species. What do you call something that if you mix two different species together, begins with the letter H? Judge Woods, what's your idea? Come on, Joe. See if anybody, ask Ashley, ask Carla, do you have any idea what this is? Go ahead. Hempred? 
Say it. Imprint. 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 No, it has to begin with an H. Any idea, Joe? It's called a hybrid. A hybrid. It's like if you if you made a lion and a tiger, you get a liger, which is a little bit of both. It's a hybrid. But dogs are all the same species, so you call them breeds, different breeds, not hybrids. Okay. All right. Go, Red. Nice potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, if you carry your lunch to school in a brown bag, or you go to Chick-fil-A and you bring home dinner, and you look at the bag and you go, hmm, I got some smears on it. This kind of translucent circles the light can sort of go through. That tells you that some of that food in that bag, Judge Woods? Grease. Grease. You got some grease in there. It's fatty. You got that right. Good. Red. Go. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. All right, teams. Trees like pine trees and spruce, spruce trees and all the grasses, they are pollinated not by insects, but by something that is measured by a weather instrument called an anemometer. To pollinate grass and those trees, it depends on the what? Wind. The wind, that's it. Yeah, the wind pollinates it. That's why corn is planted close together. Since insects don't, the wind blows the the pollen from one corn plant to the other. So uh, that's why you don't see flowers, very visible flowers on corn plants. Go, Red. Nice answer. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. All right, teams. Bears. You've seen bears on TV shows. They go out and they try to catch salmon. One like this, you know. Sometimes they catch them, sometimes they don't. So we know bears like seafood. Well, when the salmon aren't available, the bears like to dig in the mud for these bivalves. Bivalves. Bi means to something. What are they digging for in the sand? Some kind of seafood. Judge Woods. Hmm? Tuna. Not tuna, no. Bivalves, something has, you're, it's in the sand, you're digging for it. Bivalves, what would you dig for in the sand? Come on, guys, you can do it. Clams? Yes, clams, they're digging for clams. And they're nice and tasty, too. Clams on the half shell. All right, green, go. Come on, Joe. Uh, body systems for 20. That's the way to do it, body systems for 20 points. Teams, let's see how good that is, good you are at spelling. You know, a sign that something, you got a disease, like you start blowing your nose, you're sore, you got a sore throat, oh my gosh, I'm getting the cold. All of those things are symptoms. Spell symptom for me. Spell symptom. Pass, pass. You guys, someone do, start do, spelling do, it over there quietly, so in case I have to come to you, you can tell me, uh, have your idea about how to spell symptom. All right, Judge Woods, who's going to be my speller? Who's going to be the speller? Gabriel. Gabriel? All right, I want you to say the word nice and loud for me. Symptoms. One more time. Symptoms. Very good. Okay, go ahead. S-Y-M-T-O-M-S. -S. Oh, so close. So close, Gabriel. Thomas Stone, the word is symptoms. Symptoms. Carla says, don't you make me do that. Don't you make me do that. Who's going to be my speller over there, Joseph? Carla, come on, Carla, you can do it. Carla, look at me and say the word. Symptoms. Nice and loud. Symptoms. Symptoms. All right, see if you can do it. S-Y-M-P-O-T-I-M. You started out real well, and Gabriel, you missed just one letter. S-Y-M-P-T-O-M-S. Symptoms. Good tries. All right. Thomas Stone, the advantage is still yours. Go, Joseph. Go ahead. Let's get physical for 20. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, one of the favorite science experiments that students do for science fair experiments is extracting DNA from a strawberry. You can do it. The solvent is not ethyl or methyl, but a substance called isopropyl what? Alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol was the right answer there. The buzzer, buzzer says our game is over and we'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back everybody. Hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio. You know, this is tough. If you've not done this before and these are some tough questions and uh, yeah, Thomas Stone had a tough day today, but they are a wonderful school. They are a school of excellence over there. Our final tally today is Thomas Stone 70, 
Judge Sylvania Woods, 190. Congratulations to Judge Woods. Miss Rudd, Miss Barbara, Mr. Richardson, congratulations. E. Ray and Kimora and Gabriel, you really did a nice job here today. But I'm sorry, guys, you are all upstaged by that little fella back there. And who is that? Madeline. Madeline is going to be on the Judge Woods team in a few years here. And Thomas Stone, let's clap for Thomas Stone. Ashley and Joe and Carla. You guys are wonderful, and uh, Carubo back there. Nice to have you here, honey, today. You played a nice game, too. You're an important part of this game, this of this team. And uh, Miss Rudd, thank you for always sending us great kids over here. We love having Thomas Stone. We love having you with us, too. Hope to see you next time on another edition of the Science Bowl. Till then, I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.